The problem is I don't think he really constructed uh, an alternative uh, after 14 years. And I think mainly because his style, his approach, was uh, that he made all the decisions. He concentrated power in his own hands. And that's very, very difficult to construct an effective uh, uh, system, a uh, governance model, <coughs> uh, when only one person makes all the decisions. So my sense is that he had a great opportunity because he had tremendous charisma, connected with the Venezuelan people, cared about the Venezuelan people, and the Venezuelans felt that. And he had a lot of resources. Uh, the oil prices went up substantially from the time he came in in 1999 till now. Uh, he really had an opportunity to reshape in a significant way and put the country on a sustainable path of development. I'm not sure that if one looks at Venezuela today that it's on that path. And I think you have enormous problems that are there. There are shortages of basic goods. There are, there's highest inflation rate uh, in, in Latin America. Crime is off the charts. If you look at the crime rate when he came in versus the crime rate today, there's this tremendous insecurity. Caracas is one of the most crime-ridden city cities in the world today. So uh, this is not a government that I think has been very competent and very effective. And I think it's a product of the fact that he is somebody who believes that he represents the general will of, of Venezuelan people. He is a legitimate president. There's no question about that. But you also need to, I think, bring in other sectors of the society. And he was a very polarizing uh, figure. So I think he deserves credit. I think his legacy is, is a mixed one. But I think, in the end, this will be seen as a great opportunity for Venezuela uh, that was squandered in the end. Ava Gollinger, your response. <clears throat> well, um... I think that at least Michael Shifter recognized Chavez's legacy in terms of uh, changing the lives of Venezuelans, and particularly the poor. But um, I strongly disagree with the assessment of the fact that he didn't build, one, a sustainable model, two, an alternative, a viable alternative for the country and for the region. Because um, before, as Greg was saying, Chavez opened the door, opened a pathway, began that, that pathway, and, and, on, and took that road to transforming Latin America forever. I mean, Venezuela has been transformed forever, talking about the level of participation. Today in Venezuela, more Venezuelans participate than ever before in history. Everyone has a voice. Everyone wants to be active and involved. Before Chavez came to power, and I lived there during that time, um, it was an, a country full of apathy, full of apathy, full of exclusion, people who didn't even care about participating because their participation meant nothing. That's changed 100 percent and will never reverse its course.